Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blonde Psychic channel. This is a video about changes coming into your life. Um, we're going to look at three aspects of your life, life in general, money and love. So three very important topics to talk about here in this video. Um, we only have two decks today because I'm trying to make it a shorter video because I tend to talk quite a lot during these videos. So please go ahead and pick group number one, group number two. They're both witch themed tarot decks. This is the everyday witch deck it is holographic it is quite pretty that's that's pile a and i can't remember what which deck this is i'm very sorry um and this is pile b okay so what one are you drawn to a or b whatever one comes to your mind's eye first go ahead and pick that and that'll be your group please make sure you like subscribe and share to my youtube channel to all of my channels across uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and now a podcast as well that I'm doing. TheBlondePsychic.com is where you'll find my personal decks as well. I will use some of my personal decks throughout this reading. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what um, is upcoming for you in your future life, love, and money areas of your life. I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Group number one, this is your pile. So let's go ahead and look at your life money and love what can you expect i'm going to break it into three mini readings within one and i'm going to get true cards out to see what life general messages are coming up for you and then we will clarify with my original 1909 tarot deck this is one of the oldest tarot decks in the world so i just want two to three unless any other cards fall out cards to begin with and let's find out what life messages want to come out for you? Let's have a look, shall we? Ace of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. So we're just going to talk in general about these two cards first, then we'll get some other cards to elaborate on this message. When it comes to your life at the moment, you are seeking a new beginning. You are wanting your thoughts and your voices within you. So the suit of swords is about your thoughts being heard, um, your voice being spoken and listened to. And at this point in time, you're wanting to bring the thoughts that are in your head to fruition. You're wanting to bring your manifestations into your reality. And you're trying to wish this into your life, into existence from the 3D to the 5, 5D. Sorry, from the 5D to the 3D, bit backward there, but you get what I mean. So with the sun shining behind his um, hand being held there you can see that um, you know you're trying your hardest to bring your thoughts and your real into your reality into your world you're wanting a new beginning when it comes to your materialistic world and I do think this is about your materialistic world you're wanting a better position within your life you're wanting um, better authoritative space you're wanting more control over your life in general and you are putting the hard work in it's not like the universe is not seeing your hard work you are being acknowledged here for the hard work you're doing. I think everyone wants a great materialistic, to be in a great materialistic place when it comes to their life in general. And um, you are going above and beyond to make that happen. The Eight of Pentacles shows you actively working hard towards, uh, well, working hard behind the scenes in general to make your um, materialistic world your reality. It could be anything from just trying to save to buy a new car, to getting a new apartment, to having better clothes or a better stance on life. I think you want an overall better position when it comes to the control of your life and the way that your life is taking shape. So again, your, your hard work is being seen. If you're sitting there um, thinking, universe, why aren't you listening to me? Why aren't you hearing my manifestations? Why aren't you coming true? They are. Stop banging your head against a brick wall. Keep going strong. You are being acknowledged here for the hard work that you're doing behind the scenes. And um, your materialistic world is going to transform very, very soon. Let's elaborate on this message a bit more, though. This is quite a beautiful deck. I only opened it yesterday. And, um, yeah, it's been sitting in a box in a spare room for quite a long time. So let's try and elaborate on this materialistic, this materialism, this better position within life that you'll come coming or trying to achieve let's elaborate a bit see how that um card just flipped in my hand like that so that means that's a very important message and it tells me a lot about what is stunting your growth here any more cards want to come out and let us know or elaborate on this message for group number a 
that one turned around as well yes it's just elaborating on what needs to be said to you so if you're a tarot reader if you watch my readings like a lot of my collective do you can obviously read the cards before i can and um, it's going to tell you a lot about what you need to know when they bend in my hand like that that's a very important message as well and it tells me that um and it's come out whoa look at all i thought that was one card there it's one two three four my goodness you have a message here i just want to start with the cards that turned or fell out upright okay you got seven of swords six of swords and nine of wands all right this is telling me right now you are literally banging your head against a brick wall um in frustration your manifestations aren't coming to fruition as fast as you'd like you really want them to be present in your now but it just, it's just not going to happen like that. It's not going to appear overnight, okay? You're being very defensive. You're making excuses about why it's not happening. Um, you are deceiving yourself as well here because the universe you think is not hearing you, but they are hearing you. They're paying homage to you doing the hard work here with the Eight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands is depicting that you're deceiving yourself. You are stopping yourself in the process. By having that negative thought set, again, remember, we open with the Ace of Swords, suit of, suit of Swords, which talks about our voices and our thoughts being heard and manifested into our reality. You are actually projecting the wrong thoughts um, into your reality by being negative, and that is stunting your growth. It's stopping you in your tracks. Imagine like getting ready for a horse race and you haven't exercised your horse, you haven't trained your horse, you've just expected your horse to win by knowing what to do when it doesn't know what to do. This is what you're doing, you're putting negative aspects um, into the world by saying my manifestations aren't coming, why isn't the work paying off, um, why isn't this happening and so to fix that and this is very, very prominent here, these cards came out upright remember so in order to change that and heal that you got the six of swords which came out upright as well so it's telling me you need to honor the way you're feeling and get i talk a lot about especially on my facebook page so go over there if you want daily advice and i do put a lot of effort into that page that is the page i probably put the most effort in because i have the biggest following on if you do want daily advice go over there and follow me at the blonde psychic on facebook um I do share, I shared a post the other day that said, even when grief or bad things happen within our world, we need to get a place of acceptance and being okay with the decisions that we're in and the positions that we're in within our lives. Even if we can't control our external circumstances, we actually have to be in a place of acceptance and okay, being okay with it. Just okay. That's the only feeling you need to be. Be okay about the situation. You do not have to like it. You do not have to appreciate it. You just have to be okay and accept it. You can still hate it behind the scenes. As long as you're acknowledging the situation, expressing the way you feel correctly and allowing yourself to move on adequately, this is the mentality that you need to adapt here. Be okay with your manifestations not coming into your reality as quick as you'd hoped for or wanted. Acknowledge that you're doing the hard work. So what I said to you, the universe is acknowledging you that you are doing that hard work and they see you doing that hard work. But you yourself are keeping you trapped in your present life that you're in now by staying in that negative train of thought, okay? So you need to get your head around A, being okay where you are, are right now, showing gratitude and you know, being grateful for the things that you do have in your life now, show appreciation to the universe. Because when we show appreciation for what we do have and not think about the lack of what we don't have, um, our, our worlds will change and change for the better. Your manifestations will amplify. So accepting where you are on your journey, what you do have in your life, even if you're living beyond, beyond your or below your means, or you don't have the best car, or you have to catch the bus every day, accept it you're still getting around you're still living you're still breathing you're still trying to live your best life be okay with it and then and only then once you change your way you're thinking about the situation will your life transform okay yes look you've got to take better control of the way you're um thinking and speaking to yourself and the way you're handling your situation the empress is here the empress is about new new birth new beginning being that feminine towards yourself mothering yourself and allowing yourself adequ adequate space to move on and to take control of the situation and allow these new beginnings to come in adequately before 
um, that ch these changes um, come into your life. It's like, again, being unprepared. If the universe gives you what you want now, you're going to be so overwhelmed, you're not going to know what to do with it. So you've got to be grateful for what you do have and accepting of what you do have before you will uh, receive more and be in a better place mentally to re be able to receive the new blessings that are coming in. Yeah, look... Why are there two Ace of Swords? Oh, oh, I had such a blonde moment. And I'm like, why are there two Ace of Swords here? And look, these cards all came out upright. Look, Ace of Swords blocking the Ace of Swords. It's reversed. How uncanny is this? You are blocking yourself from creating this new life for yourself. Ace of Swords blocking the Ace of Swords. You are blocking yourself. Could that come out any clearer? Um, you need to make the decision. Again, two of swords uprights means the decision needs to be made and you need to stick to it. Um, but only, and then these two cards have come out reverse. You saw them fly out. I thought it was one card. It is not. It is true. It is four. So you're getting extra messages here. This is telling me that you will break free of the negative thought patterns and start manifesting the things you really want in your world when, we, when you do what I just spoke about. I'm not going to go over it again. But you know what to do now. You know what's holding yourself up. And you know what's keeping yourself stuck, okay? You really need to tap into your um, sacral chakra. You really need to listen to your gut and follow your intuition quite a lot more because you're a very spiritual and um, intuitive le intuitively led person. So you have the ability here to lead yourself out of the situation. So allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to be present in the now. And allow yourself to move on adequately and make the changes you need to make in order to manifest your materialistic realm adequately, okay? That was your message about your first part of this reading. That was about your life in general. All right. Now, let's look at your money. If career comes up, that's fine. I want two cards for money or career. Let's have a look. And there's two straight away. I want one more, though. I feel like I need three for this one. So money and career. What do you need to know? I just want one. I don't want two more. I just want one. And I got one. Thank you. Let's have a look what we got here. The full. Judgment. Just making sure two cards aren't stick to get stuck together. And eight of cups. You have a lack mentality when it comes to money. This tells me by being in judgment and the eight of cups here. So it tells me you have a lack mindset when it comes to money. You don't think you're worth money. You don't think you're worth having money. You don't think you're worth having a good life. Again, this comes back to your life general reading where you're stuck in the lack mentality. But now you know what you need to do to transform and change your situation. And you need to start believing in your self-worth quite a lot more. You need to change the way you're looking at your money and where you're spending your money and start living below or within your means because I feel like you're trying to keep up with the Joneses and for those people that don't know what that means it means you're trying to have the best of everything you're seeing everyone have a new car a new job being a boss bitches being a um entrepreneurs being influencers and that's the kind of life you want the easy breezy free free flowing life um until you let go of that mentality and um you know keep expressing the want to have it now you're not going to be able to walk away from it. And the Eight of Cups is depicting here that you need to walk away from that mentality. You need to go through a judgment, a wake-up call. You need to kind of check yourself and think about the way you've been thinking about your money when it comes to money in general and do an overall um, self-check where you're spending your money, where you can save money, um, your mindset around money, stop living paycheck to paycheck and start a savings fund so you can have some spare money and start putting action behind the way you want to manifest things and bring things into your life. There is a new beginning here when it comes to your money. Don't get me wrong. You're about to um, jump off that cliff and not not literally, so please don't go jumping off a cliff. Just figuratively, you're about to jump off that cliff and really take a deep dive into your finances and reanalyze them, like where you're spending, where you can save, how you can be more frugal with your money. So this is very, very smart here. And this is very... Um, it's like you're getting a life makeover just from watching this video and you're finding out where you can save and scrimp and um, get a life do-over. It's literally like a life do-over. Let's find out what else we can find about your money for you. These two cards coming out. Oh, did you see how they just bent? These are meant to be yours. you got the King of Wands. you got Ten of Cups. you got Nine of Wands again. 
an eight of wands. This is telling me you're being defensive again. Even when I'm telling you these things, you're like, I'm not being defensive. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Yes, you are. Stop. Why do you keep defending yourself when you know it's you who's stopping you from growing into your new luck mentality? You need to get your head around this. Stop being a wounded bull. Start taking control with a fool here. Take that leap off that cliff and really check yourself. I'm being told you've got a bit of an attitude when it comes towards yourself and those external circumstances around you. You don't like being told and you don't like being checked. So really need to check yourself. Take, stop doing a pity party and really take control of your world, okay? Because you have amazing things waiting to happen. King of Wands is talking about that fiery energy. So your fiery attitude towards money and your spending of money needs to change. Your spending habits need to be looked at because you are spending as soon as you're gaining. Maybe you're even well off and you're just shit with money that could be the situation here as well but the action towards money and the way you're spending money needs to change drastically a whole action plan needs to be done maybe even do a spreadsheet of where you're spending where you can save being frugal etc things like that um but once you do all these things your situation towards money will change the eight of wands talks about messages coming in fast depictive actions um flowing energy and the ten of cups depicts a happy family life so this is future energy for you these are the things you could have happy family buying a house setting up your you know foundation so you can have that happy family life behind you but this is not going to happen until you stop being defensive and change the way you look and act towards your money situation within your life okay and your goals really need to set up some goals here and be more frugal when it comes to your money and um the way you're spending money things like that okay all right let's look at now at your love life and i said again this is going to be a quicker reading than what i usually do i usually spend hours sitting there reading the cards for you but i really don't have time nowadays because i'm a very busy person but i need to make more time so that's a problem i have not you so don't um worry about that that's my issue but they are going to be shorter quicker more frequent readings and tell you the information you need so you can act on it quite fast okay um and you can get good advice from this and it's a free reading so you can get the advice you need and apply it to your life and if you need co more coaching beyond that reach out to me i do have coaching purposes um available coaching packages available on my website theblondpsychic.com all right, we're going to get one more. No, I think we need to stop there because I am going to um, do some extra cards for you with my Modern Love Oracle deck. I made this deck um, purposely with modern day love issues because I feel like general tarot decks just talk about, you know, love and soulmates and blah, blah, blah. They don't tackle the issues that we have in everyday society now in the 20, 2023. We don't tackle them. So I'm going to do... Some verifying cards with this some extra cards okay so for your love reading you got the hanged man or the hanged one in this deck and seven of cups so this is telling me you're holding on to love past issues you're not looking past love issues you're not looking at the way you have loved and you're not looking at the way you do things within a relationship you're just blaming others um at putting others at fault and not looking at your own behavior yeah they probably did some shady shit to you but you allowed it to go on didn't you you allowed them to do that shady shit to you um so you really need to take a step back before you even go looking for love i actually do offer a course in learning to or preparing for love preparing yourself for love so looking at the way you've loved in the past analyzing your love life as a whole and really getting you ready to, to be in a good headspace before you even go looking for love so healing those love issues, looking at the way you've loved, really healing yourself as a whole. I feel like you really need to journal on this one. And um, I feel like I've told you you need to do a lot of work on yourself, but this is very progressive for you because it's telling you that you do have hope at the end of the day within your within your money reading you got. You could have a, you can have a happy home. You can have wealth. You can have good things. You can material, you know, manifest materialistic things within your life, but you need to change your attitude towards the way you're doing things and be acceptance, accepting of the way you, the way you actually have and um, what you actually have within your life right now. Excuse me while I drink some water. Once you go and analyze your life and let go of expectations and the way you have loved in the past, Look at your options. Your options are open to you. You'll still go ahead and make some good and bad decisions, but ultimately you will find your cup of love. And this is a very progressive card. A lot of readers get this card and don't like it, but I actually love this card quite a lot because it's 
options, it's choices, it's telling you ahead. There's actually a lot out there for you, a lot of good matches and a lot of bad matches. And you're going to keep meeting the bad matches until you do the healing work and you are ready for those good matches within. You won't meet the person you're meant to meet until you do the inner work and go back and overanalyze everything you need to analyze in order to move on and find your person, okay? Let's get to the real root of your love life. Let's look at the real problems going on here with my modern love deck. What do or what issues are coming up for you? Let's have a look. Mummy or daddy issues? arguments full of self-love so i do think your self-worth is there your self-love for yourself is there but it still needs to be worked on okay i feel like maybe you're quite a lot like me when it comes to love um this is me prior not now um me in the past used to throw myself into a love situation and fill their cups up full of love before i filled mine up so again i think your self-worth and your self-love is there but you still need to do some work when it comes to your um, self-esteem and expectations when it comes to giving equally within a partnership um, and not giving like 70 30 50 50 yeah on your good and bad days within a relationship um, the other person is going to pick up this have to pick up the slack for the other but generally relationships should be equal give and take um, and amended accordingly from there on there are mummy or daddy issues within your own self and within partners that you're seeking out so it's like a twin you're you're attracting the same flaws that are with the same person so you've got mummy issues they've got daddy issues you've got daddy issues they've got mummy issues you're attracting the same issues and until you explore these and delve, dive deep into these issues you're still going to keep attracting the same issues over and over again and a lot of arguments within your relationships, um, and that comes from a lack mentality and not having a control of your emotional maturity. You're attracting partners that are on different um, vibrational frequencies or timelines as yourself. Maybe you're wanting a family, maybe you're wanting to settle down, where you're attracting party boys, things like that. So again, a lot of work has to be done on oneself. I think you are full of self-love. I think you are full of self-worth and you know your self-worth. But you're just not doing the extra work needed on yourself to prepare yourself to find love and find love worthy of yourself. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope it helped you. Um, and I hope it helped you identify the parts of yourself that need work. And I hope you can go on and work on those parts and bring a more fulfilling aspect to your life. Okay? Group A, take care. I'll see you in your next reading. Goodbye. Group B, hello and welcome to your reading. This reading will be made up of three parts. So let's go ahead and jump in. You have a general life reading and then you have a money reading and then you have a love life reading. I'm loving that your cards are coming out straight away. So that means it's a very important message to share with you. And you've got three cards. Look at that. So this is a general life reading we're starting off with, okay? What do you need to know? Ten of Swords. Six of Wands and Seven of Swords. This is a beautiful, beautiful message, even though you think it might be all doom and gloom, okay? Someone has been deceiving you, even if you have maybe only been deceiving yourself. You are keeping yourself stuck in the reality that you're in when you desire to be in a winning situation, okay? You want to be better off within your life, and that's okay. Endings need to take place. Um, you need to cut out a lot of people and situations within your life that are no longer working for you because it's deceptive behavior. Look at his little smirk there. They may be even doing it right in front of your eyes, but this deceptive behavior needs to stop and it needs to stop now. Total endings and death to the situation needs to happen. Boundaries needs to be taken place. And quite frankly, until you do that, you won't get any of this victorious life changes coming in. You want victories. You want good stuff happening within your life and it's not going to happen until you bring a complete ending towards the situation um well did you see those cards come out straight away this clarification this message is strong i think you know who is deceiving you what is not working for you i think fear is holding you back and staying in comfort maybe comfortable relationships a comfortable job the fear of the unknown is keeping you stuck and until you analyze and address that behavior 
um, nothing is going to change. Nothing within your life is going to change. You'll sit there thinking, well, is me? Why isn't my life changing? It's not changing because you're allowing it to happen and you're allowing to stay stuck in comfort and you're allowing low vibrational frequencies and negative emotions to hold you and keep you stuck there. Look, we have Nine of Pentacles, we have Page of Pentacles, we have Five of Swords, and we have Ten of Pentacles. This is good news here. So, you currently, this is your head, fighting, chaos, arguing, and a lot of it is to do with yourself. You're allowing this deceptive behavior, this person, do this right in front of your eyes. I think you know someone is deceiving you. Someone is, um, you know, maybe jealousy, maybe cheating, maybe flirting maybe something very innocent but it is happening and it is keeping you stuck in your head arguing with yourself thinking what was me why is this happening you know why it's happening because you're allowing it to happen you need to address it and cut it off completely i know it's hard easy for me to say that but in reality it's hard for you to do it because you're stuck in comfort and fear is ruining your ruling and running your life right now so you really need to step into your bravery i'm surprised you didn't get the strength card because you really need to tap into your strength and um, hone into that and lead with your masculine quite a lot more in order to change this situation that is quite frankly making you very stressed and anxious every day. A new offer needs to come in for you and that offer is actually going to be needed to come in from yourself to yourself. From Your future self is here saying you need to take control of this situation. You need to bring yourself stability with that coin. Page of Pentacles is the lowest point of the court decks or the court cards. Um, I do call them infant cards. They've got a lot of learning and growing and nurturing to do before they can become kings and empresses. But once you do that and you learn to nurture um, yourself and learn to prioritize peace and stability within your life, you will then become this which is the Nine of Pentacles, independent, free. Look at her. She's just sitting there with her bird, free, roaming, and her money, roaming in her garden, living her best life. This is you. This is what you're aiming for. This is what you want. You don't want this cheating and chaos and disaster. You can become this, but you've got to want to become this, and you've got to learn to allow yourself to become this by shedding and stepping out of your comfort zone and stepping into your strength and taking control. And you do have amazing things waiting. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're going to have a glorious future if and only if you take control of your present right now and transform it. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is like the pinnacle of um, change. Look at this. We've got Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles, which is complete transformation. It depicts an old man looking back on his life, looking back on his wealth, looking back on his health and his family and his memories and being content, being a being in a place of contentment, being in a place of solace and happiness. He's looking back on his life, thinking about all the changes he's made and the wealth he's built. And the wealth, and wealth could mean different things to different people. It could mean just a happy, peaceful life for you. It doesn't have to necessarily mean money. Whatever it takes, you're going to have it, but you've got to want it for yourself in the first instance. That's the hurdle here I see. You've got to jump over this death card in order to get the victories and the life that you want, the independence, the happiness, the freedom, the wealth that you are aspiring to have. You can't have unless you get out of this victim mentality, which I think you're stuck in, and allow yourself the um, freedom to move slowly at a steady... I feel like you've got to do it at a slow and steady pace, but you can get there in the end and you can allow yourself to have this beautiful life and this future because this is a promise of the future that you can have, but you need to allow yourself to take yourself by the hand, delve into your strength and allow yourself to be led by yourself to get there in the first instance. All right, now we are going to look at your money. If career comes up, that's fine, but we are focused on your money here. So let's go ahead and get some cards. We want to get two or three cards focused on your money, but we want to elaborate on that with um, the other deck as well. So let's go ahead and look at your money right now. Oh, this is standing out. Do I want to take them? No, I want to take this one though. So we've got one when it comes to your money already. Let's. Oh, that flipped over. And again, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You've got wealth waiting here. You have got money waiting for you at the other side of your change. But you've got to be brave. I keep getting referred back to your life reading. You've got to be brave and make the change just needed to do it. All right, I'm going to stop. You don't need any more cards beyond that. Ten of Pentacles and Page of Wands. You've got another page. Again, it all comes down to you. 
taking the action in order to get to this card. You're a long way away from it right now and you're probably so overwhelmed by fear and this um, you know, deceit that's going on in your life right now, you can't see the biggest picture. You can't even focus on tomorrow, let alone 10 years from now. I don't think it would take 10 years, that was just an example, but um, this is the life you could have. Happy family, um, happy home, loyalty, love, peace, serenity. But you've got to allow yourself to get there and I think you are holding yourself back at this point in time. It's the same message. Um, though that was in your life general reading. And I don't even think it's about wealth for you, even though wealth could be attainable for you. I think it's more about just peace and serenity and love. See how that card flipped? It wants to be shown. Um, let's elaborate a bit on this, but this is telling me ultimately you ha do have all of these things attainable and waiting to, for you within your grasp, but only you can do it. Only you can attain these. When you're ready to take action, when you're brave enough. Ten of Pentacles again. You're going to be rich. I'm sorry, but you are going to be rich. That's the third time you've got Ten of Pentacles from two different decks. Alright. I don't even need this card. Alright. What do we have here? Yeah, healing. Look at this. Cannot be any clearer. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You have the ability to transform your life. You've got to get into this healing energy though and take action towards making it happen. Until this does take place, you're going to be stuck and you're going to be miserable and you're going to be anxious and sad and you're going to have to want better for yourself. But could it or can it be any clearer here? Ten of Pentacles is here. You have this stability, you have this beautiful home life, you have this loyalty, you have this peace, you have this serenity. You are that woman in the garden, surrounded by her money, surrounded by her peace, love, her freedom. You have all that coming, but you've got to action this healing for yourself and make boundaries and want better for your own life. And it is not going to happen until you allow it to do so. And this is talking about money. So this is telling me that you're going to be wealthy. But you have to make it happen. You have to take the steps in order to make it happen. I even got the message that you're letting someone um, take control of your finances. You're giving money away. Um, you're letting them take from you blindly. You've got to stop it. You've got to stop being a people pleaser. You've got to stop being um, the person that was always giving. Maybe you're the black sheep of the family that's always turned to or relied upon when, um, when things happen. You've got to stop that and you've got to start the cycle of self-worth of self-focus of self-love you have these amazing things waiting to happen they're not going to happen until you allow control for yourself and want better for yourself to take place all right i'm going to put these back in because i feel like i need to start again now we're focusing on your love life self-love is needed here big time self-love self-worth Stop people pleasing. All need to take precedent within your life. I want one more card. And we'll take them. I've got a big love message here happening for you. High Priestess, Magician, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. And the standout card were Three of Pentacles and Strength. You got the Strength card. I told you you were going to get the Strength card, did I not? The Strength card is here. This is the standout card of your reading. The Strength card. You are there, waiting for better things to come in your life. You've just got to learn how. With the Three of Pentacles and with the Seven of um, Coins, this is all about investing in oneself. Card of the Apprentice, card of self-growth and worth, finding your self-worth, loving yourself, allowing yourself and to find your strength and your courage and allowing that growth to happen naturally. You do listen to yourself quite a lot, but you're not acting upon it. Your intuition is speaking to you, leading the way, taking control in your life, but you're not listening to it. Why? Magician here is here saying you have the tools necessary to manifest and take control of your life. You have travel and adventure waiting happening also when it comes to your love life. And I think a lot of this love um, is going to come from within first before you find love outwardly and if you're in a relationship already i don't think you're very happy in it and you're not fulfilled because 
this deceit's happening, this, this behaviour's happening and it's making me quite sad. But I'm glad you got the strength. I said you're going to get the strength. So you are going to keep listening to this and you are going to, I think you're going to watch this more than once. And you are going to tap into that strength. And you are going to find that self-worth and love from within and start investing in yourself and start, um, you know, wanting better for yourself. Now, this is my modern love deck. I didn't clarify the other cards like I have for you. I felt you needed extra messages here and you got a lot of extra messages. So let's go in and clarify what you need to know from my modern love deck. And this deck I created because... Um, traditional love decks within the tarot world actually talk about, um, you know, just love soulmates, blah, blah, blah. This deck actually depicts problems, real problems within love and relationships in our modern world that we're living in. I want to get you one more. I'm going to take that one. Okay. Codependent. Arguments misunderstanding through text see i said it could be something well, it's not really simple but it could be something um you know someone's been caught cheating someone be, has been caught um you know doing things that aren't nice through text and you found out through text and it has caused a lot of arguments i hope this is clarifying your situation and talking about your situation quite a lot you are very codependent when it comes to this person you can't see a life without them and until you cut that cord and cut that string and look, start to depend on yourself. I don't think you're strong enough quite yet. I don't think you think you believe in yourself and your worth isn't quite there yet. But you will start to develop it because you're going to be sick of the arguments. You're going to be sick of mistrust. You're going to be sick of checking phones all the time to see whether they're still texting this person or, you know, liking other people's social media pictures or even just not pouring the energy into you. It's not a receptive um relationship and you will get sick of it and you will walk away and you will choose yourself you will delve into your strength this is the card you've got to concentrate on right now becoming her becoming strong really mothering yourself right now i'm surprised you didn't get the nine of pentacles sorry queen of pentacles as well really mothering energy really um you know focused on worth self-worth and wanting better for yourself yeah i'm surprised queen of pentacles didn't come out as well but that's okay You've got to really delve into your strength. I'm sorry as it is, I think this relationship isn't going to work anymore. Or if you are recently single or you've been attracting this type of relationship, you'll attract it over and over again until you cut the ties and want better for yourself. I do think you will be single for quite some time and go through a healing stage. And you will go on these adventures and travels by yourself and you will discover the love of life once again for yourself, okay? Take your time, learn your self-worth, learn to want better for your life and allow growth to happen adequately. But ultimately, be led by your intuition and listen to your intuition more because they are there holding your hand and guiding you through life. Your guides are especially as well. Tap into that a bit more. They're there leading the way for you. They want to show you the way. They want to show you how to heal. They want to show you how to go forward. But you're not listening to it. You're just ignoring it and you're letting comfort and fear of being alone keeping you stuck okay i hope this helped i hope you can transform and i hope you go on to live a more happier productive life okay take care of yourself i'll see you in my next reading bye